it's me, Charmise, and I'm back with another Wednesday Wisdom. I feel like for today, it's less of wisdom, more of posing a question. Yesterday, I was thinking about what my entire platform is for and like how I could make an impact on the black community specifically on a macro level or a micro level right and I'm thinking to myself like I publish books I do this I do that you know ultimately what am I trying to do and then I was thinking about how like I harp on the planning aspect but more specifically in the planning aspect I talk a lot about the financial part because that's the part that I fumbled and then I was thinking to myself, like, financial literacy. I'm not a financial guru, but if I had to pick one thing, I feel like all younger people, specifically me in the black community, um, could benefit from are just a little bit more financial literacy, um, money management, starting from, you know, an elementary level. Because if there's a family or a household that doesn't have that same financial literacy you know pouring it into those babies it could have a domino effect and ultimately in my head i'm like that's what i want to do i want to make sure that in talking to people about college planning you really have an idea of the financial piece because i can i was trying to think about it before i did the video i literally know of two people who graduated from college debt free two one went to my school, the other one is my husband's friend. But the thing about it is so many of us go into higher education with very little financial literacy and fumble the whole situation or mismanage the money that we are given or mismanage the refund checks that we are given. Um, you know, you don't have the full idea of what life post-graduation is gonna be. You don't know how to manage your loans. You don't pay your loans. I know some people that like, pay five dollars on their loans i know people who choose not to pay and ignore the letters and the emails and the calls there's so many things that i've seen you know since i've been out of school and all those people included myself included we could have all benefited from having a little bit more financial literacy having a better idea of the bigger picture of what you're really walking into what you're really signing up for i don't know what do you guys think what does our community need most? Yes, I want to harp on planning and figuring out what you want to do with your life. But in the midst of all that planning, you're doing all this schooling and you buying books and you're doing all these things with whose money? So if we were to start from the ground up, from the babies up, from elementary up, would it really benefit the community? Would it change the outcome of how people navigate, you know, post high school? Will it, will it change their choices? I don't know, but like, I guess I had a little bit of an epiphany yesterday. I really do want to make some form of an impact, not just talking about college and choices, but like, let's start from the bottom and the bottom is the babies. I have a three-year-old. I give you a good example. I have all the stuff on my Amazon wish list because I want to teach him about financial literacy. But the thing that I'm most ignorant on, not money management, because I'm, I'm nailing that in my 30s. But um, investing, that's another piece that I want to teach him. I see, I have coworkers and friends that I've come across that, you know, they have their kids investing and their kids have this account and that account. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that. So um, my atonement for all the mistakes I made in undergrad is my books and me talking to others about college planning. But I want to do more because <laughs> the fumble for me, the bigger... Uh, mess up for me was just the financial aspect you know I don't know a lot of people who finished paying off their loans I think a lot of us are still in the brunt of that debt so I really I guess I'm just talking at this point but the community needs to have a better conceptualization of money um, I know there's kids today who don't understand money even my son my son he's like just throw it in the bag did you look at the price you know how much it costs like i think a lot of people don't understand the value of money um the accrual of debt and how bad it can be uh generationally so that's me and my soapbox of things and the things that i've been thinking about but in the midst of it all you know, I talk so much about my lessons learned, but the biggest lesson that I learned and I'm still learning is how badly I managed things in college. 
Um, it took me forever to um, get the financial thing down. And I, I actually joked about writing a book about adulting because my first year post-graduation was hilarious. Um, I could write an article about that alone and maybe I will, but um, the community needs a little bit more information, a lot of bit of information in regards to finances. And um, it definitely should start from the ground up. I know that there's different communities and states um, that are trying to integrate those things into the system, but um, it should be people with platforms, not like me, because I'm I'm in I'm little in the grand scheme of things. I'm micro in the grand scheme of things, but I would love to see a lot more people with platforms digging into their communities in order to teach financial literacy um, from the ground up. All right, <laughs> that's it. I'll see you guys next week.